What's going on guys? Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and it's time for your Kickstarter Spotlight for this week. This time I have a very special Kickstarter. It is, uh, I would say it's it's personal to me. It's a game that I really like, and I super love the developers. Um, I've met them many, many times, so I just wanted to put this out there to you. It's really good, it's really cheap, and you can get actually the base game and the expansion for pretty cheap. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about... Bear versus Gorilla versus CEO versus Hippie. There's an expansion coming out called Extra Things. Uh, first of all, the name drew me in when I first saw it two years ago. What is Bear versus Gorilla versus CEO versus Hippie? Uh, I will probably do a Let's Play or at least a, a review of this, a video review. Um, it's really fun to play with uh, with multiple players. Um, it's a card game. It's a competitive, uh, you know, combat card game. Uh, where you choose to play either the bear, the gorilla, the CEO, or the hippie, and you basically are playing cards and attacking your opponent. You have like a little chip counting system, and you're going back and forth and back and forth and, and fighting to take all the chips from your opponent, and then you win if you have all the chips. It's one of those games, um, sorry to say, but it's one of those games that definitely benefits, I say, more from three or four players than two because it's just one-on-one, -on -one. and if you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, it's probably going to come down to one singular or two singular cards that are going to really swing the gameplay in one direction or another. But with three or four players, you have strategy of who you're going to attack, and the rules change as players get eliminated, so it makes it easier. I mean, there's tweakable rules you can do to, to make two-player go easy, but vanilla two-player, I think, is not the true experience. It shines better with four. So that's the base game. And what is Extra Things? Extra Things is an expansion adding additional cards to this game. Uh, this is from the folks over at Black Slither Games. You may know this game. If you don't know this game, you may be familiar with Battle of Electric Vikings. If you're not familiar, Battle for, uh, of Electric Vikings is basically a Scrabble, but a heavy metal Scrabble, basically. Uh, you are playing cards to try to make out awesome uh, song titles for a heavy metal band and uh, you know you argue whether or not you think that's actually metal and then you can try to veto it and things like that but what do you get in this I know for a fact after speaking from them at too many games more recently they each character the bear the CEO the gorilla the hippie gets a 15 power attack card you can kind of see it right here what this what these numbers mean is if you're attacking like this is a uh, Patchouli, <laughs> if you're the hippie, and you play this card, it does 15 damage, and then it scales down as you go. Or you could play it as a defense, and again, you can see the defense. I know each character is going to be getting a 15 power attack card, which is something new to the game. Um, and I also know the Spanish Inqu Inquisition is a card that's coming in here, uh, and all I know is you never expect it. So... Uh, it's just adding, was it, uh, extra things will add an, at least a nine card expansion with two more cards added for, uh, for the stretch goals without giving away any secrets, uh, attack of 15, um, the CEO dressed as John Oliver wearing a trench coat and bunny ears, Spanish Inquisition, etc. Uh, and down here, if the stretch goal of a thousand, there'll be this tuning my loot card here, permanent plus two to all attacks and defense, um. Right now, they it only just started a couple days ago. Uh, the stretch goal or the funding amount they're looking for is nine hundred dollars. They've already got four hundred and thirty-five. They're just about halfway there with twenty-five days to go. And let's look at the uh, the pledges. So, uh, seven dollars just gets you a copy of the expansion, free in the U.S. A dollar fifty elsewhere. So if you have the game already, you can just get the expansion for seven bucks. Not too bad. What I went for was the $13 Triple B Bears Black Box. They have updated the box for Gorilla uh, for the main game, so this gets you a copy of uh, the expansion and the box. So this will hold your original game and the expansion, and it's a nice new sleeker looking box. For $23, the international pack is... All cards minus the box. You get all original 67 cards and a copy of the expansion um, on a t-shirt, plus t-shirt, uh, to add $25 to your pledge if you'd like. Um, extra things, and uh, if you want to get both together in the new box, that's $25. I already have the base game, so I just need the box and the expansion. That's 13 
For $27, you get a copy of Extra Things and a t-shirt. For $50, you get a copy of the base game, the expansion, signed by the creator. Um, or the new box, the original game, the expansion, and a t-shirt. For $57, you get everything. You get a copy of the base game in the new box, a copy of the expansion, a copy of Battle for Electric, of Electric Vikings and both of its expansions, a copy of Kick, Punch, Burp, Fat, Fart, Slap, which is a drinking game. Uh, kind of a rock, paper, scissors style drinking game. All signed by the creator. And any stretch goals. And $100 is the most you can spend, which is everything we just talked about, plus a t-shirt. So, uh, to get the base game and a copy of the expansion is only $25. Um, I like it. There's a video. I'm not going to play it right now. Because uh, I basically told you what's said in the video. You can also head over to BlackSlitherGames.com to check out that game and reviews and other things like that. Um, again, the links will always be in the description. If this seems like something that you guys would like to back, um, please feel free to do so. Let you know what if you want to let them know that Ted from Nerd Immersion sent you, that'd be even better. Um, they're local to me. They're only in New Jersey, so uh, we get along. We hang out at a lot of conventions, so they're just friends, and I wanted to give them a little promotion. So. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you next time.